all the way from DC. <laughs> <laughs> possible to terraform Mars? Is it um, actually possible to terraform Mars? <laughs> 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 well, do you want to do it? Do you want to do Well, you got the weather thing. It's good. We, we, we can tag him and go ahead. Okay, so one of the biggest issues with Mars is that uh, its core isn't like uh, liquid iron like ours is, right? So it doesn't have a magnetic sphere, so a lot of the essential gases in the atmosphere actually just drifted off into space. So one of the biggest problems with doing something like terraforming Mars is not only the long-term feasibility of that project, right? You have to go in, you gotta get, uh, like so far from the sun, you gotta make sure it's warm enough, you gotta start pouring, you know, making liquid water, you gotta start keeping all that oxygen, like, within. Like, even if you're planting plants everywhere, um, you're gonna have this issue where you're, like, leaching a lot of it. Can I ask you a different yeah. question? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the same question. Yo, what is terraforming? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm on a science. Terra, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> terra meaning earth and forming meaning form. form. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> terra form. So you're making a planet uh, like Earth. So you take uh, a planet that's inhospitable, uh, usually something close to Earth, right? Right outside of the Goldilocks zone where water's liquid. Um, or maybe in it but devastated or whatever. Uh, and you take it and you make it a place where humans can live, uh, not like it's the Martian, you know, like it's like it's just right. Earth. You live in a house. Uh, but it's really hard because, you know, most of the universe is really inhospitable. Uh, so, <laughs> do you have any? Right, I mean, it's, it, it, okay. that's it's true. I mean, there's a Goldilocks zone where there's feasibility for these sorts of things. Even within that feasibility, that Goldilocks zone, there are planets which are just not capable of doing anything. Either they're rotating too fast around whatever sun, whatever star they're rotating around, and it's just impossible to, to basically create a situation where that would be possible. And plus, just the, the mechanics of it, you have to get there. And, yeah. and all the stuff you gotta bring, like even if you're building spaceships like in space, <laughs> right, and you're just launching them back and forth, like drone piloted, in order to just get materials up and to do anything, like it would require a form of technology uh, that is like magic, but you know, we all have computers in our pockets, so I don't know, man, like, right? <laughs> <laughs> so one day, but no time soon. <laughs> might not happen again, right? Like, we're breaking up. We could get back together. Probably not. But the thing in your pocket is magic. So I mean, <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is not, Marissa, Marissa, I mean, yeah, there's magic in my pocket right now. I, just, I thought there was magic between us. Oh, no. <laughs> Another speck of sand in the beach that everyone's like, they'll never meet, yeah, and then they do. Right? <laughs> right? That makes you my speck. Oh no, uh, <laughs> it's not. I am not good at freaking up. Um, you know how sometimes there's a sun. Yeah. And then there's planets that always gravitate around that sun. Should we all know that? <laughs> <laughs> You're my sun. <laughs> I just wanted to say, I brought some of my friends here. Yeah, I just, I just to just reinforce the fact that you are my son. You've always been my son. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
better and clearer, and just like right at the top. <laughs> So you know how a piece of dryer lint sometimes finds its sock again, but usually not? <laughs> Guys, start the permanent press cycle. <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking we're just going to go someplace and just build stuff. Sounds great. Yeah, like we're just going to like hop in a car, uh -huh. <clears throat> go until the gas runs out, yeah. and that's and where we're going to live. Wherever we are. Mm -hmm. so we can, you can build a house out of anything. Literally any. Literally, you could build a house out of mud, mm -hmm. you could build a house out of twigs, mm -hmm. uh, you could build a house out of uh, bricks, and I'm just doing the three little pigs, so you know what's true. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, like, I, <laughs> I know running away from your problems is not the way of solving things, but in this case, I think it is yeah. the way of solving things. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, let's just... <laughs> All right, I'm in a lot of debt. <laughs> I'm just gonna come out and say it. So. I have so many fingers to the mafia, like, I can't even die! It's, it's more than my fingers, so what are they gonna do? <laughs> this, is, this is why we're best friends, let's... Let's just go. Let's just go. In the middle of the desert, you know, we'll just, we'll just make it around. We'll make it livable, right? Just nobody else around, nothing but sand. We'll build a house out of sand. Oh we'll my build god. Food out of sand. We'll build water out of sand. Well, we need like real food though. Just like. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to like. <laughs> I'm just saying like. We need some sort of sustenance. Right. So. And we can make ourselves. <laughs> hey, Tommy, I know you're in there. Open up. Uh, no, I'm not. Please don't hit that door too hard. It's made of sand. <laughs> Secret? Yes, of course. 
I'm about to start a cold. <laughs> I'm going to, no one's in it just yet. <laughs> Step one, find the compound, make it firmer the better. <laughs> Step two, convince other people that they like a nice firm compound. <laughs> Step three, teach them to follow you. <laughs> That's it, those are the three steps to start the That was clearly in step one. Are you on board, Mr. Man? I must say, lots of people have come in here and tried to sell me on many things, but no one has done so eloquently and firmly as you. <laughs> Wait, people come into your real estate store and try to sell you on things? All the time. Oh. Firm land for years. I, mean, <laughs> I think I'll. It's yours. Can you put trees in it? For Is it too it. firm to put trees in it? <laughs> if I were to get some trees and a shovel, can I take the shovel and dig in the ground and put trees in it? <laughs> if I took a shovel and I wanted to put a tree, and I took that shovel and I had it kiss the ground and then dig in real hard. Consensually, can I put a tree in it? Can I put a tree in it? <laughs> Mr. Man, yes. In this hard, wet, spongy ground. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, a thousand times yes. You can, you can dig in it, that hard, spongy ground as much as you want. You can plant trees. You can plant a goddamn bush. <laughs> then I'm sold. Step one complete. Step two. What shall I call us when I try and sell other people on this? Oh my god, stop <laughs> two and a half. Name the coal. <laughs> 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 I'll be back. Okay. I'll you be, wait. I'll be right here. Dig me a tree hole. <laughs> <laughs> Kisses and hugs. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I have meaning now. No more long and foster. No more long and foster. I need, I need a shovel. There's a nobody shovel. outside. I tried to start a whole cult. I couldn't find a single person. <laughs> Canceling the cult, talk. I don't know. No, it's just. I feel like this whole country is full of land that feels like gross dish soap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can handle that. I need, I need to follow you now. I have to. What about your wedding ring? And the picture of your kid? <laughs> your daughter standing in the court. <laughs> Maybe give me six months to 
find myself in the barren wasteland eating trees. A Ron and Foster? <laughs> Beyond Long and Foster. You know, out by the quarry, that desolate land that I'm always saying I have to sell, but I never do. What are you looking at? <laughs> In the future, <laughs> one day I will call for you when you're in fourth or fifth grade. I don't know. And if, you keep, and if you keep the grades that I saw in that third grade report card, those E's for excellence and B's for beyond creative. <laughs> I don't think you understand how grades work. <laughs> it's a Montessori. Say. They're like, I will do the Nord 
to talk to you? No, that's not it. I'm on the run. Oh. Like from me or like a separate narrative? <laughs> Good soldier. Jeremy, just get on the other side of the aircraft water. She'll, she'll see you by accident. <laughs> 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 Look at your child's face. <laughs> on his face. Look at your son's face. It's just face paint, but don't worry. I'm upgrading to more permanent types soon. <laughs> <laughs> so you just want me to draw on top of that? Uh-huh. <laughs> just trace it. I've heard pretty young. Yeah, I know, but I have a parent's permission, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be 18. <laughs> Gotta be 18? What if, I had, what if I had some pottery to sweeten the deal? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> well, you're a tattoo artist? Yeah. What's your home life like? Uh, shit, how long do you have? Not long, because I have a curfew still. <laughs> My mother's an artist, and she doesn't pay any attention to me, and I feel like the only way to truly get her attention is to become her art. So I need you to tattoo my face, so I can become a terracotta soldier of future Picasso. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> 